Inside Gallery 119 on Jefferson Street in downtown Phoenix, the inspiration behind Joel Copeland's art is what's known as The Zone, Arizona's largest homeless encampment. This is the way it was. This is the way it looked when, uh, when, they, when everybody was here. He's saying was because just about a week ago, the city of Phoenix finished cleaning up about 15 blocks of tents and trash, helping relocate people living there days ahead of its court-ordered deadline on November 4th. The order coming from a judge siding with several business owners suing the city for not doing something about the problem for years. Joel is one of the plaintiffs now seeing a different zone. And it's like a science fiction movie, like where you wake up and you walk out and everybody's gone. Just two blocks from his studio is the owner of Old Station Sub Shop, Joseph Falacci, also part of the lawsuit. We didn't want any money, we just wanted our neighborhood back. Joseph says what he's seeing around his restaurant is a miracle. It's better. It's a lot better. I mean, it's amazing how much the city has done because they had to do it. However, he's still seeing unsheltered people hanging around the area, leaving behind trash and doing drugs. The city says its work is not over. The city's main effort is to, to have um, our outreach teams go and engage with individuals that might be unsheltered in the area first. But certainly police is there to enforce laws. When we were in the area today, we did spot police units driving around and officers on the ground. But now we really need uh, we need to be strategic moving forward and, and really help people pro um, from falling into the homeless service system and help them exit uh, quickly as well. Business owners are hopeful. The people experiencing homelessness can find a home and the businesses can conduct business and the residents can live in peace. But the city says the nearly 600 people that accepted shelter are staying in different areas, not just in downtown Phoenix. And we're told they will be offered resources for mental health, help in finding jobs and permanent affordable housing so they don't fall back into homelessness. Reporting live in studio, Casey Torres, Arizona's family.